All right, Brush Monkeys, welcome back. This weekend we're continuing our painting of the Norman Conquest, uh, Norman Foot Soldiers um, box set. And we're continuing with the Warlord and his retinue. Um, as you can see, uh, several of these guys are dressed almost head to toe in chainmail. And so I've gone ahead and taken the liberty of airbrushing them with this uh, Vallejo uh, steel metal color paint. This is a fantastic paint. I love using this for airbrush. Um, it's a great steel color. I'm going to dry brush them with the uh, Citadel Necron compound and then we'll go on from there. The musician and the standard bearer here did not have any chainmail on them so they did not get um, they did not get the airbrushing on them. So uh, Actually, now that I'm looking at this guy, nope, that's just wrinkles in the hood. Okay, I thought maybe he was wearing a chainmail hood. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and dry brush them, and then we'll go on putting the base coats down, and then we're going to uh, dip them in the quick shade, and go from there. All right. So I will see you guys in a bit. All right, brush monkeys, we're back, and uh, I've gotten all the batch colors down on the. Um, Warlord and his retinue, that is all the colors that are common amongst all of them. The steels, the leathers, the woods, the, the leggings and the sword hilts and what have you. I've base coated most of their shields in white. Um, the Warlord is an exception to that. I did a little more on him. See, I striped up his helmet, I painted his under tunic and pants, painted up a design on his shield. Um, and I've got the standard bearer sort of started. I'm going to do that same dragon design on his banner up here. And I think his shield is probably just going to be quartered in red and yellow, so I did the red. All the rest of them, their shields are white for right now. Um, I'm going to go find the, uh, the, the Pinterest page that I had. Um, of all the different shield designs, Norman shield designs, and uh, how I paint the, I'm going to paint all the shields first, and how I paint the shields will determine how the rest of the uh, garb looks, because a lot of these guys, it's mostly, if you look at this guy, it, you could kind of see his pants just a little bit there, you can see his tunic in the sleeves, and in, in between the chainmail there, but there's not a whole lot to see of it. Um, and on these guys, you can see how they've got, it's what's called a Spangen helm, which is where the helm is kind of divided into fourths. And they have those little, um, the quarters on them are called Spangens. I'm going to paint, uh, depending on how I do their shields, I'm going to paint the Spangen helms the same way. Uh, at least paint the Spangens on them. And, uh, but all that's going to kind of determine how, I, uh, by how I do the shields first. So I got to go find the shield designs, um, and that's going to be the much more intensive part of this, of this entire painting project. Like all the Huskars and all the feared men are going to have individual shields as well. So I'm going to have to go through a lot of shields. Um, Forty-six miniatures in this group, I think. Forty-five, if you take away the casualty that's got his shield face down so he didn't have a shield doesn't have a shield design but yeah that's 45 separate shield designs I'm gonna have to come up with and 45 different color schemes for all these guys um, so yeah um, I think I've got enough diversity in shield shapes and and the research done to pull it off it's just gonna be a chore <laughs> so um, like I said I'm gonna go ahead and pause now here and uh, go find my research on the shield designs and then I'll come back and base all those and then uh, then we'll take a look at the army painter quick shade dip and how to do that and uh, get these guys wrapped up all right see you soon bye all right so we're back and I finished painting the uh, personal heraldry of uh, the war sac the 
Norman Warlord's uh, retinue here. As you can see, his champion and his standard bearer are, are both in his color, his heraldic colors. Just little different designs on both of them. Um, I went with like a party color design on the standard bearer and yellow tunic and red helmet with a checker pattern on the champion there. His musician has a blue and white cross and a blue tunic with a white under tunic. Um, I've got two other guys that are in variations of blue and white. Came out looking really good. And uh, painted up their Spangen Helms. That's what I was talking about when I said I was going to party color the Spangen Helms. Came out really nice. Then I got this one guy in a uh, mix of purple and white. The party colored Spangen. And he's looking pretty spiff. And then the one I'm really happy with is this guy. He's in purple and gold, which is my SCA Kingdom colors, Calentier. He's got a party colored Spangen Helm. But that design on his shield, if I can zoom in on that. That is an actual Anglo Saxon shield design. Uh, Anglo Saxon, uh, Norman shield design. <laughs> Same time period. Uh, yeah, that's an actual Norman shield design. And I painted it on, on his uh, shield. So, yeah, they're looking really spiff. Um, they still have uh, some of the paint still has to dry. So I'm going to let these guys, I'm going to take a break and let these guys dry. And when we get back, we're going to get into the dip. I'm going to put these guys on some uh, corks and, and dip them. All right. So we will be back soon. All right. See you soon. All right. We're back and it's about time to get into the meat and potatoes of the Army Painter Quick Shade Dip. Here. And uh, unlike the dropper bottle one that I showed you uh, with the last video with the casualties, um, that was an acrylic water based version of their quick shade. This is actually a varnish based version. If you dip a brush into this, you're going to need to clean it out with uh, turpentine or something like that as opposed to just uh, uh, water. And uh, same with uh, cleaning off anything you use to stir it with so get an old stick get something like that to do that um, I'm going to do all eight members of the Warlords retinue but for right now I'm just going to start with with the four I've got here on the sticks and this is really got off a messy process so make sure you put some newspapers or something down I've got some newspapers down on the floor uh, my shop's a mess anyway so it's not a huge deal but so what I've done is you can see I've put the figures on a on a cork here and uh, I'm gonna dip them into the dip and then I'm gonna get a good grip on the base which is why I'm wearing the gloves because I'm gonna get the stuff all over my hands and then give it a few good shakes to get the excess dip off and then I'm gonna put it aside and let it dry and like I said I'm gonna do these four but I'm gonna do all eight of them the same way I just don't need to get all eight of them on camera so I've got the can lid off the dip and I've get them in good stir they so just Dip the figure all the way in there. Might have to turn it a little bit to get get everything dipped. There, and you see that comes out muddy as hell. And that still didn't get everything dipped, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. Dip the other way too. That's worse. Okay. Now that is not going to stick on there, but it'll hold for now. Come on, a few good hard, ah, good hard shakes, and that'll do for now. Yeah, because of the the banner, he didn't quite get all the way in the dip, so his leggings didn't get dipped. That happens sometimes. Ideally, you want to be able to dip it at least down to the down to the base. Okay. 
And there are going to be places, like on this guy, it pulls a little bit on the back. That's okay. You can always just take an old brush, going right here, and just, uh, like I don't want the dip on his shield as much. I don't need that much on his back. I'll just brush it off. As long as you're doing this with an old brush, you can also just brush it on the figure too. You don't necessarily need to dip it and then shake it off. You can just brush it right out of the can. You get a very similar effect. Just slopping it on there, you don't have to be real neat about it. If you don't feel if you don't feel like throwing it around or you don't have a space that you can uh, shake it like that, like you need to, to uh, distribute it properly, you can just brush it on like that. Is that loose? Uh, disconcerted by that. Sorry, this guy's arm is loose. Yeah, either method, dipping or brushing, accomplishes pretty much the same thing. Just gets that, that quick shade everywhere. And the quick shade really is kind of a um, varnish based. The effect you get is like if you cover, coated the whole model in uh, Agrax Earth Shade. Um, it dirties it up a little bit, it shades it, and uh, in the case of the quick shade dip, it also varnishes it at the same time. So you get that little added level of protection on there. But that's all it takes. You just, you know, I'm gonna have to clean this out with a, uh, with a, uh, some varnish cleaner. But uh, that's really all it is. You just kind of dip it into the can, shake off the excess. Um, in some cases, brush off the excess if, if there's places you don't want quite as much of the dip, like uh, on the shield, you kind of want the pattern showing through there, so um, brush it on and then, or if you dip it, then you can brush off the excess and you still get the shading on the shield, but it doesn't, doesn't drown it like it did. And this stuff, um, like I said, with the, with the acrylic based brush on stuff, I probably didn't need to leave it for 48 hours, but I did. With this stuff, you definitely do need to leave it for 48 hours. It's going to take a long time for this to dry. Um, but that's really all there is involved in it. It's just dip it, set it aside, shake it off, set it aside to dry. And uh, and give it plenty of time to dry before you, before you mat seal it or do anything else with it. So these are going to sit for about 48 hours. And then I'll come back and uh, we'll flock the bases and put on the tufts and that kind of thing, mat seal them, all that kind of thing to fire, to finish them. And then uh, these guys will be done, but it's going to take a little while to get to that point. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and do the other four. And uh, I got to get them on corks first. And then, uh, um, like I said, we'll let them sit and then come back and do the next step. All right. So I'll see you then. Bye. All right, brush monkeys, the dip has finally cured and set up and I've hit these guys with a little bit of the matte seal and looks like in a couple places I may need to hit them again they're still a little bit shiny in some places but uh, they're looking pretty good they look uh, kind of dirty which is how they're supposed to look when they're done in the dip there's a couple of places I kind of wish I'd, I'd wicked away some of the dip a little better like the bottom of this guy's tunic and the banner here but for the most part they're all looking pretty good so 
and uh, like I said, I've, I've hit them with the matte, the anti shine already, so that's knocked some of the gloss off of it. And uh, now I think I'm just going to go through and paint the base bands with the glue and go ahead and flock them. And then I think we'll be calling these guys done. So I'm going to go ahead and go touch up that matte seal in a couple of places and flock them and then we'll come back and take a look at them and wrap this up all right see you soon bye all right brush monkeys the bases are flocked and the base bands are painted and I'm gonna go ahead and call it and say the warlord and his retinue are done and they're looking pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up thanks for joining me for another week and I will see you next week when we start in on the uh, I guess I think next week is going to be a palette cleanser, and then we'll start in on the Who's Carls the week after that. So I will see you then. Bye. Hey, Brush Monkeys. Uh, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like. If you uh, want to find out when uh, new videos get posted, click subscribe. Comment below on what you want to see on future videos. Visit our Patreon site for uh, lots of ways that you can support me in doing what I do. You can also visit our Instagram and Facebook pages to see all the miniatures that I paint on this channel. And see how you can get your hands on one of your own. Uh, so, thanks a lot for your time and thanks for watching my videos. And I will see you guys later. Bye.